Hello everyone and welcome to Sonobas Shorts. We have the Sonobas weekend coming up and in case you haven't registered, do consider registering for a bouquet of lectures, workshops and demos by a large faculty of international and national speakers. Now coming to this Sunday's case, these videos are of a 59-year-old female who presented with a rise in bilirubin with a raised direct fraction. An ultrasound was performed and it reveals, as you can see, dilated intrahepatic biliary radicals, both on the right and the left. This dilatation continues into the common bile duct as seen here. On ultrasound, we need to trace the bile duct and keep going down till its terminal end to check the level of obstruction. And as we can see here, the study shows a dilated CBD up to the distal end where we can see now an abrupt cutoff caused by this echo poor mass lesion which is seen at the terminal end of the CBD and it also is seen to involve the inferior aspect of the head of pancreas and the uncinate process. We now scan the entire pancreas and we can clearly see a very mild dilatation of the pancreatic duct more so near the body and head of the pancreas and if we trace this carefully we can see it's reaching up to the distal end and it ends abruptly at this mass lesion. So this is the classic double duct sign that we see, usually on CT or MR, but also on ultrasound. And it's an important sign to diagnose pancreatic cancer. This means that both the main pancreatic duct as well as the common bile duct are dilated and widened and blocked abruptly, usually by a mass at the pancreatic head or the periampillary lesion. In this patient, a further investigation with an MR showed a mass lesion at the head of the pancreas. Thank you.